What's up my fellow MLP and has been fans, it's Cody Ozzy, Alistair Fan Brony here. Now, this video you are about to watch is my 100th reaction. That's right, this is my 100th reaction video. I was going to be recording my reaction to a episode of a kid's show that I've really been wanting to watch for months. The very first video I reacted to was Ultimate McJuggernuggets Carnage. I filmed that video with Screencast Omatic and probably was a good choice to record my first reaction video with that because the video I was reacting to lagged like an MF. I don't think this would be my longest reaction video since my longest reaction video is me watching Hasbin Hotel. I think that went for like 38 minutes. Monday 20th of July 2015, so six years ago. You see how much it lags here. It's this bullshit apology. Bullshit. My next reaction video. I record with screencast automatic again, then I start recording my reaction videos with my computer, then download the video I'm reacting to and put in a box in the corner there. Then I've got a video camera, my Panasonic HC V270, record myself reacting to the video, so I had the video playing in the bottom corner there, kept doing that for a while, where I'll be watching the video on the viewfinder on my video camera, I did that for a little while, then I hooked it, my computer up to my TV, just like that. So I had my laptop on the other side of me there. And yeah, there's just many ways I recorded my reaction videos. I don't know why I recorded it with my back to the camera. Then when do I start recording with BB Flashback Pro? Oh geez, when do I start doing it? I started doing it with... Okay, the Aussie Brony reacts to Bazikabi. Biz. Which is a strange video. The winners of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. I don't remember what year it was. It is Saturday, the 21st of August 2021. And my 100th reaction video is going to be a very special one. This video goes for like 27 minutes. So this reaction video may very well be my longest reaction video ever. The video I'm going to be reacting to my little Dashi, the mini movie from Storm XF3 from seven years ago. This video has got almost 28 and a half million views uploaded on January 2nd, 2014. And he's got 900,000 subscribers now, that's good. Here it is, a movie you've been each waiting for. Your late Xmas, Xmas gift. Merry Xmas, you filthy animals, and Happy New Year. This video was uploaded over seven and a half years ago. Months before I started watching My Little Pony, I'm only watching it now. Got my Rainbow Dash plush here, she's so cute. Let's get to watching this video. Happy 100 reactions, let's hope we do 100 more. Daily struggles I go through outweigh the small moments of joy I have. My Little Pony has helped but it's still just another thing to give my hopes up on. Every time I see the show, or one of the ponies on a fan site, I recoil a little bit at the bright colors, the joyful faces of the ponies, and the peaceful scenery of their world. It's so hard to look at that beautiful world, having it so close to my grasp. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Just a tune of the My Little Pony theme playing on piano. Yeah, that's be beautiful. be stopped by my computer screen. Very first time watching this. So it would be a good video. When I feel to... sad, I walk. When I feel tired, I walk. When I feel like walking, I walk. Walking <laughs> has become my second life in a sense. I spend at least half my day outside along the crumbling sidewalks and decaying suburbs. I live my life one day at a time. A I'll good portion of those days are uneventful, always falling into the same routine. I wake up, walk to work, work, walk home. Then I'll bum around until I go to bed. 
Sometimes, I'll hang with my few friends, while other times, I'll just play video games or watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Hell yeah. Living in a dying city isn't very fun, or interesting. This city was once full of life and color, but now, now most of the houses are sagging. The businesses sit empty and abandoned and the open fields lay barren of the once great factories that helped drive the local economy. I never saw the city during those times, but I have seen pictures. My mother started painting once everything crumbled beneath her feet, making the sad scenery before her look beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Her masterpiece is of an open field that yielded to a parking garage. And over okay. it, she drew this amazing rainbow. It's by far my favorite picture. Aww. And I guess that's Rainbow's why I cool. like Rainbow Dash the most out of all the other ponies. She's pretty the awesome. Colors, the amazing Sonic Rainbow. Oh, hell yeah. Who could not love Rainbow Dash the Sonic Rainbow? She's just so... She's freaking All awesome. of that reminds me of her picture. Today, as usual, I had walked to work. It was the same shit, just a different day. I watched this. Never heard him swear before. Grab their merchandise, pay for it, and then walk out with bags in tow. Now, living in this area, I see trash all the time. Boxes and plastic bags littered the streets and empty fields. Rarely would I see a cardboard box that isn't crushed in one way or another. It's just sitting there, sad and alone among the broken concrete and oh, overgrown Dash, grass. Dash gonna be in there. It doesn't move or stand out as if it were special. It's just an ordinary brown cardboard box. Inside is a sleeping, filly, rainbow oh, dash. Oh, she's so cute! There is not a physical or a mental or extraterrestrial way how this could be here. I'll take it home. She oh, could be here. In my so gloomy, dark, and horrible world. Oh, geez, I'm the very first thought that now. runs through my mind, besides the initial fill it world. The very first thought that runs through my mind, besides the initial Philly Rainbow Dash in a box, <laughs> is who in the world would give up a Philly Rainbow Dash? Yeah, who would just abandon such an awesome pony like that? Jeez. Oh, my heart explodes twice. Oh, I have too. not smiled like this in years. Oh, she's so Hi cute. There. What are you doing out here? I am so not sure how to handle this situation. Oh, Do I, I want to hold her. Do I call somebody? Uh, who would I even call? She would probably be taken off to some lab and experimented on. Honestly, I only have one choice here. Take her home. She has no clue what's going on. Where yeah. she is, who I am, or anything else. Well, She's beyond the word lost. She's misplaced. Right now, there is nothing else that matters to me. My despair, my sore feet, and painful heart all go Aww, unnoticed, as that's... nothing else can come remotely close to the feeling I have right now. This joy that I'm experiencing at this moment as I lay awake on my couch. Aww, look at her. She's a she is here. She is real. Right now, oh, she's nice if my she little real. She is my little Dashie. My Dashie. It's only been about four months since I brought the young Rainbow Dash into my home. I did what little research I could on the matter, but I've come to no conclusions. I really have no idea why she's here, and quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> These few months with her have been the most amazing time of my life. <laughs> she has opened my heart up to love and joy, amongst oh, other things. Sign me. Right now, she sits next to me on the couch. I love her so freaking much with all my heart. Seven years on, she still has my heart. She's got a very special place in my heart. She always will. She's so freaking cute as a filly. Watch as I watch TV. She seems to enjoy the morning cartoons on the local stations. Sure that she... And I've <laughs> kind of come to enjoy them too. Pony, for goodness sake. She sad. acts a That's lot good. like a young kid would, but then again, why wouldn't she? Aww. Another amazing thing. Oh, I want to snuggle her. She's so cute. Need to talk. Now, I'm not much of a teacher, or for that matter, a parent. 
but I'm doing my best to help her learn to speak and read. I've decided since I actually don't know her actual birth date, I'm going to make the day I found her, her birthday. September the 7th. September the 7th. Wow, what a coincidence. September 17, 2014. What's the freaking day I started watching My Little Pony? What a coincidence. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> and oddly enough, that's the very same day that the second season of My Little Pony aired last year. Wow. I quit watching the show after Dashie came into my life. There was no reason for me to continue. And honestly, I don't have a lot of time to myself anymore. Oh man, I would love to have that. That's awesome. Darren Dude's just as She's awesome. able to fully communicate with me now, as well as read English. And she's even started to learn how to write with, you guessed it, her m oh. My heart. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've got tears welling up in my eyes right now. How could you not say no to that? How could you not? That's beautiful. Oh, I would not want to stop hugging her. She's freaking cute. I did try to invent some things for her hoof so she could write but it seems writing with her mouth is more natural than moving her hoof around. One thing that troubles me with her though, every day she sits at a window looking outside. I'm not worried about her being seen by passerbys. I live on a dead end street, so that's the least of my worries. Still, though she hasn't said anything to me yet, I can see the hunger for fresh air in her eyes. I really can't keep her in here her entire life. No. <laughs> I keep talking like she's going to be here forever. <laughs> I know that isn't true. One day, someday, she'll return home. Whether that's a simple poof and she's gone, or perhaps through some other means. In my heart, I hope that never happens. But in my head, I know it will. It's just a matter of when. I do hope to get her outside sometime soon. I've been checking out some of the abandoned lots and former parks on my walks to and from work, seeing where the best location would be to take her. Funnily enough, it seems the field that I played at growing up was the best option. So that's when I decided I shall take her to the field. But how will I get her there? She's still relatively small, so I can hide her inside a jacket or something. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day anyway. I've been taking her to that old field for weeks in hopes that I could help her learn how to fly. Oh, this music's freaking beautiful. I love the piano. There's this large the tree music. there with branches sticking out over a grassy terrace. The perfect spot for her to practice. I would be wearing my brownie cap, but I freaking can't find it for the life of me. I can't find it. And I can't catch her. At least she'll have something remotely safe to land on. She fell a lot, and I knew she <laughs> would. There were many scrapes, cuts, and bruises towards her goal, but finally, after many weeks of work, she did it. She flew. Now, it was only a short distance, about 50 feet or so, but still, she did it. She's a little scraped up, but she's beaming with pride. That's a dashy girl. Another thing that had been brought to my attention. She asked me about having her own room, and I got to thinking and realized the house does have a spare bedroom. Though my parents had filled it with my old school stuff from my younger years, as well as several of my old toys. Oh, geez, I've, I've still got a lot of stuff from primary school and high school, exercise books and that. I'm not going to get rid of them. them. Though she is getting older, I'm not sure how entertaining they'd be for her. Older, but she's still going to be epic and awesome. She is epic. If she has her own room, I can get her her own things, so that she can feel somewhat normal. She is pretty smart for a filly and knows the difference between our species. Yeah. However, she still knows nothing about her origin. She's just not ready yet. The only thing I can do is keep her happy. Um. Today is a day for celebration. For today, my little Dashie got her cutie mark. She didn't even know what it was until I had explained it to her. Now she's even more ecstatic than before. <laughs> it was just a normal field outing, but this time she decided she wanted to see how high she could get in an attempt to gain speed from the fall. 
All the right things factored for her. How she positioned herself, her mental focus, and possibly me on the ground watching and cheering. But she did it. I knew we could break the sound barrier, but to actually do the rainbow part too? My mind was blown! So the initial explosion caused a ton of broken windows and set off car alarms in the next county. We rushed home before anyone could arrive at the field. I was lucky, none of my windows were broken. Thank goodness. Though that was her highlight of the day, mine was just moments ago. She has now come accustomed to sleeping in her own room versus with me out on the couch. Now I can sleep in my own bed once more. But I do keep the door on. I want little Philly just to snuggle up to me in bed. I would not want to snuggle up the cute little dashie. So if she needs me, she can come get me. I had just tucked her into bed and told her good night when she said it. Good night, Daddy. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm, oh, tears are welling up in my eyes again. This is beautiful. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Dashie. I know she wasn't talking to me, but I want Good night, my little Dashie. For the first time, not only did she call me daddy, which she has done on occasion, but she even said, I love you. I haven't moved for an hour now. I am so lost in thought. The few times she has called me daddy, I didn't think anything of it. I could picture why she called me that. Being with her so much has made me accept it as part of taking care of her. But tonight, when she said those three words, the realization finally sank into my heart. I am her daddy, and quite frankly, I consider her my daughter. I think I've finally done it. I have broken my hard shell that had formed when my parents died. I've let a sweet little filly into my life. Sweet I gave her a filly. home to live in, food to eat, and now a daddy Aww. to love. She has given me hope, love, compassion, and now something I thought I'd never she utter. Give me so much love. A daughter. I believe Dashi is now at her full size. Rounding in at about three feet tall, she's fully grown. Though she's only 10 years old according to my math, I believe she's actually <laughs> closer to 14 or 15 in actual <laughs> years. So we celebrated five missed birthdays. I got a new job, one that pays much more than my old one. Dashi even talked about getting a job, but then she remembered what I told her. The look on her face was heartbreaking. Luckily, I have a way to fix this. Due to the sheer size of the property, it involves a lot of cutting of grass. Tomorrow, I'll modify a lawnmower for her to use so that she can have a job. I'll even pay her so that she can buy her own stuff if she wants. According to the show, she was a weather pony, and I don't have her mess with Mother Nature unless it's a dire emergency, mm -hmm. so there really isn't any job there for her. I don't know when, but I have the sudden feeling our time together is running out. Mm -hmm. All of this has been too good to be true. Today, has to be the worst time of my life. Oh, no. Even more than when my parents died. Dashi found out the truth before I could tell her myself. Oh, no. I remember I walked in from work with some oh, groceries, no. set them in the kitchen, no. and walked into the living room. That's when I saw it. My heart sank. I knew that episode. How long? How long have you known about this? How long have you known about this? Excuse me, guys. I am... I am crying right now. That just got me. Oh jeez, that really freaking got me. That really did. I'm gonna turn the volume all out. Turned off the television and told her everything. I told her about the show, finding her, and answered any other questions she had for me. After our argument, she flew upstairs into her bedroom and slammed the door shut. 
An hour later I went to check on her, but no response told me she'd flown off. I can only hope that she comes back. Or at least, if she doesn't, she stays away from any other people. All I can say to her at this point is that I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. It's been three days since Dashie left. The night of her departure, I did something I hadn't done in a very long time. I went for a walk. I wasn't sure where I was going or how long I walked, but that's what I did. I think the video hasn't stepped up yet. It's not on the highest quality, it's my like, Wi-Fi hotspot can't take, like, can't play videos, can't play videos at that like, resolution. I heard you, and I'm sorry too. Dashi, you have nothing to be sorry done, about. Dashi. This is my fault. Simple as that. Dad, do do you still love me? Damn, this is really freaking getting me. This. Ah, I just have to use one tissue. This is really freaking getting me so bad. I think I should have turned on the light, but you guys can still see me well, I hope. I've always loved you. I, always I still love you, no matter what. Not even a small fight such as ours could ever change that. With some time, I'm sure she'll relax and settle down about her being in the cartoon. She is a smart mare and knows oh, she is real, yeah, not that made-up well. cartoon pony from the show. I can only help to push her into believing that, and hope that she'll do the same for me. There is a point in every parent's life when they have to let their child go. Oh, no. On her 20th birthday, I had planned a special outing to go see a flight show. As we prepared to leave, there was a knocking at the door. Oh no. Dash, go to your room. Uh, I'll, I'll be a moment. When I first saw the figure standing on my porch, I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or hallucinating. Huh. She stood there another second looking at me. She bring print. Oh, she... Oh. the sound just go off? I'm quite surprised. I had expected a little more resistance to us entering. Why? I know who you all are. Ah, so you do know then. That you are fictional characters from a children's TV show? Then yeah. Otherwise, why you're all here? I have no idea. Oh, I think you do know. My heart fell into the pits of my stomach. Mm -hmm. I did know, and she was straight to the point about it. Um, excuse me, sir, but from what we could figure out, Rainbow Dash should be here. Is she? She, um, yeah, she's upstairs in, in her room. Her room? Yeah, Dashie's in her room. I wasn't sure who was knocking and I didn't want her to be spotted. Dashie? <laughs> my, my, you're that friendly with her already? I wanted to punch that pony so hard right there, oh. how she had responded. Oh. Friendly? Wow. That's not even the beginning of it. And I should be asking you ponies about what the hell you did. Oh. You see, wow. my student... I know who she is. Would you just cut to the chase? Yes, of course. 
She was working on a spell to help the weather team with storm development. They had ended up making a slightly too large storm, uh -huh. and when Twilight had attempted to use her magic to dispel it, it shot a lightning bolt out to meet her horn. Rainbow Dash was unfortunate enough to be within reach of the blast, and it engulfed her. It sent her to here. We have arrived to retrieve her. Simple enough, I would imagine. Dad? Is everything alright? It was in that second that my heart stopped beating. Uh, excuse me, Sugar Cube. Did I just hear Rainbow call you Dad? Do you care to explain? Oh, no. There was only one thing I could do, and I had to do it. But I knew I wouldn't like it. Dad? Yeah, Dashie, I'm coming up. Uh, we need to talk. So you're just gonna leave mold down there. <laughs> Dashie! Hey, get away from me! You oh. don't recognize me, do you? No, or any of you! Dashie, take a seat, please, so I can talk to them. How long ago was she sent over here? Um, about 15 days ago. Why? 15 days ago? Well, what? it's been a lot more time than that here. How long? 15 years. Huh? That don't explain why she don't know us. Well, that's the thing. When I found her, she was just a filly. Come again? From my math, I think she was no older than four or five years old. You mean to tell us? That you've been taking care of Rainbow Dash for 15 years? Since she was a small filly? We, uh... uh, uh she is... Oh, I know it's not true. I think I understand the reason behind why Rainbow Dash had called you Dad. So, what's supposed to happen now? Oh, don't cry, Dash. You're gonna get well, me sad now. It's quite simple. Twilight... Do you still remember that memory spell? From the Discord incident? I knew what was going on, what Celestia had in mind. She wanted Twilight to either erase Dash's memories no. or start from anew. No. no, please wait. Just give me a moment with her, please. It's all I ask since, uh, since this is the last time we'll see each other. Dashie. My little Dashie. I love you with all my heart. I do too. You have done wonders to open me up from the man I once was. You... You have brought me so much joy in my life. I can't possibly ever thank you for it all. These 15 years we have had together, talking, playing, flying, all those have been so special to me. I just wanted you to know that I will forever love you. If there is ever a problem that happens and you need me, don't hesitate to find a way to get me, okay? Do, do I ha have to, to go, Daddy? It's your actual home, Dashie. You don't belong here. But I belong here, with you. You have no friends or other ponies to relate to. I was only taking care of you until this time would come. But I never thought it would be this painful. I love you, Daddy. And I love you too, my little Dashie. I knew it was coming, and it hurt so much. But I knew it was right. It was what had to happen for her, for her friends. And in a twisted way for me. Wait, before I go, I want to get something. I knew she had realized this is how it must end. The box, from my guessing, was probably her most cherished items. Though it hurt me to think about it, I hoped she had a picture of us in there. Sorry, Rainbow Dash. I... I honestly wish there was another way to do this. Just how could I blame anybody for sending Rainbow Dash here? I wish to thank you 
Twilight, and the rest of you, thank you for what you did, though not intentional. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, darling, for caring for our Rainbow Dash. Thank you. Um, th thank you. Oh. Are you ready now, Rainbow? For 15 years you took care of me. For 15 years you loved me, played with me, and made sure I enjoyed my life in a world not meant to house me. I'm not a mare of many words, but even though I told you this in person, I felt you needed a written version of it so you will know it was all real. I love you, Daddy. You helped shape me into the mare I am now. I'm not sure what's going to happen, if I will remember any of this or not. But I want you to know that you did a darn good job of raising me, even if I was a bit stubborn at times, and short with it during others. With Celestia's permission, I hope to allow you to keep our photos, our memories, with you so that you will never forget. Again, I love you, and thank you. Your little daughter always. Your little dashy forever. Rainbow Dash. Fucking beautiful, Dashi. That was beautiful. Sounds really familiar. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was quite an emotional 100th reaction special. I'm glad I chose this video to react to for my 100th reaction special than the other one. That's a brilliant video. I'm certainly not afraid of crying on camera. I've, on video, I've done it a few times before. I'm certainly not afraid of crying on video. Oh, there we go. I don't know how long this video has gone on for. This is probably very well my longest reaction video. This has probably gone straight on for 40 minutes. I had to move some videos over to my computer and then delete them so I can record this video. So I've got plenty of space to record this video. Well, I thank you all for watching my 100th reaction special of me watching My Little Dashie, the mini movie from Storm 
x f3 is to another 100 more reactions guys so leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it come subscribe down below way add it make sure you got notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video of mine join my discord it should be in the pinned comment in the description i'm k the aussie alistair fair and i'll see you guys